so today was a day of full of surprises right so yesterday we saw a gap down and nifty was able to sustain that gap down so that was highly very very much interesting and today is something different so if you see today's market <laughs> second part of the second part of today's trading session that is once Europe opened we saw a rally nifty recovered almost I think the gap which was formed yesterday gap down which was formed yesterday uh, is filled I don't think so right yeah the gap down was not filled but the main reason for this rally in the second around after the European market particularly when the European markets opened we saw nifty going back to 16,000 level now 16,000 there were heavy call rating I haven't written any calls since yesterday since we booked uh, uh, booked losses in our trades yesterday we didn't take any trade but uh, today second part of the trading session we took some trades of course not a big position very light position and uh, we are sitting in a good profit uh, we don't know how things are going to span out today <clears throat> and uh, I'm uh, I really don't know what is the reason for the uh, this thing I don't know the reason for this rally maybe it is a trap by FIIs maybe uh, some other issue is happening I we really don't know what is behind the scene if you know what is happening you can of course uh, comment on the session below and uh, pre-market also is highly volatile and uh, as of now as I talk to you it's around uh, 21 it's uh, it's uh, minus 0 0.06 uh, percent so it is flat Dow future is flat and yesterday even Dow future uh, US markets fell drastically that was very bad uh, today morning also uh, I saw uh, SGX nifty was uh, heavily in the red it was down by uh, around 300 or 350 points and this uh, people FIA people don't seem to stop today they have sold for around 8140 crores and DAS are bought for 648 crores uh, for uh, 6489 6, crores so they are not going to stop. FIAs are not going to stop until DAAs and retail people are exhausted. Now you know how much big FIAs are, how much uh, they have access to, right? And whatever they have sold till now, I think it's just a little, a very small percent of what they are holding. In case they start to sell in big amount, then you think what is going to happen. And also you think if DIIs are not here in the market, DIIs and retailers are not in the market, then you imagine what will be the market's nifty's condition. Maybe it would have hit even 7,500 March 2020 COVID levels. But uh, things now the question is uh, like uh, are things really good now or should we have to go long or should we have to start trading in the market we really don't know about that we'll have to wait maybe this is a trap in spite of see what is happening is in spite of uh, this uh, uh, this FII selling 8,100 crores and all these things are happening I'm not denying that but this could be a trap that's what i see my instinct uh, says that it this could be a trap of course i am not having any big trades or i am not having any naked calls or i am not having any non directional strategies of course uh, see i am a trader and i cannot sit simply so we have some positions but we don't have many big positions we have very small light positions in case the market moves violently even if you see the dow futures and us futures it is highly volatile move uh, even a big uh, this uh, what to say that futures or pre-market rates are moving violently let me show you yeah that's what i told you i think i showed you yeah today morning second part of the trading session us futures was up by 250 points dow future was up by 250 points now it is flat i don't know what is going to happen when us markets are going to open so this is highly volatile markets and uh, in fact we should be out of the market these are the times we should exit and that's what i told yesterday 
and in fact you know the mistake i did yesterday that's why i posted a video and many people commented thank you very much uh, so you supported me actually many people supported me and uh, it was a kind of uh, it was very motivating so that's why we have uh, <laughs> this youtube platform right whenever you are down you uh, people come and support me and whenever i go on the upside or i make good profit also you come and support me so it's a great uh, love that you have you people are giving to me right so going forward this scenario whatever happens now whatever had happened now we really don't know why, why it is happening i don't see any de escalation in russia ukraine issue and even now us crude prices uh, i us crude prices is going on the upside yeah crude prices is uh, uh, sorry what is that um, the okay, brent has gone above 127 rupees and uh, maybe because this us uh, sorry up always talking thinking about the us us and exit polls of up election is also out and we can see that uh, bjp is going to uh, win but not in, in a big majority as they did last time but Uh, it is going to be a very uh, tough war tug of war and uh, exit polls also go wrong sometimes so don't think i am talking negative i'm just you don't take this into uh, take this seriously and come to comment session and tell that this and all okay i'm just say, saying uh, normal things you don't take it in uh, uh, make this serious <clears throat> maybe this uh, exit polls are kind of uh, this thing right it may go wrong some time as well so we'll have to wait and see and uh, uh, as i told you crude prices are almost high in the last in last one decade it is the highest in the last one decade yeah brent crude has gone to 130 dollars so if you can see this brent crude has gone to 180 uh, 130 dollars and uh, crude has gone to vti crude has gone to 123 dollars even gold prices are uh, going high so everything is on the upper side so what is on our side nothing is on our side all the thing <laughs> that the only thing which is on our side is nothing yeah that's what i want to say fias are against us whenever there is a uh, like this market is going to be so far what we have seen for the last uh, one year or two year is that uh, buy on dip now sell on rise market so whenever the market rises people are coming and selling the market so that is what is going to happen for now now 16000 there is a stop in 16000 we don't know how, whether this is going to sustain or this is going to go on the upside whether the market is going to sustain 16000 we don't know and if you see the other things like uh, which uh, stocks performed uh, uh, i think ioc was performing the best yeah when it comes to bank nifty rbl was among the top gainer it was up by 5.42% au bank and there were uh, this fia uh, this thing what is that fia favorites which we say hdfc or hdfc life it was not performing ioc performed around 4.28% so you know all these things now what i have to tell you is that this is not the time to go long or this is not the time to be uh, entering in the market even though i tell many things i even people commented uh, you told you don't have uh, you will not trade you told us not to trade if the india wick shoots up more than 25 and you are trading and you have made a loss that is correct you are correct that's why i told in yesterday's video itself that i was kind of thinking i was wrong yesterday that's why i made a loss big loss i was kind of thinking market may recover and this russia ukraine issue may de escalate that's why i entered into the market and the market has punished me so now also i am entering into the market but with a very very ultra light position right and fully hedged position it doesn't mean 
if even if the market goes up or even if the market comes down i will be protected and my loss will be very minimal and of course if you are having a fully hedged position and ultra high hedged position your profits are going to be very less so with that in mind let us see how things pan out and uh, i think um, uh, we will have to wait for the markets and we will have to wait for this issues and all these things to subside and hopefully i think if uh, if everything is okay this bottom which was formed today which is around uh, yeah 15650 yeah yeah around 16650 should be the low uh, we pray to god and we will see how this things pan out right so that's it uh, nothing much uh, take care uh, trade safe bye